to really understand the feel of the property and the landscape and all that, we have to relate to it. We have to have emotional attachment to that. And so that's what I'm trying to create is that sense of emotional attachment. And when people look at that blue mountain back there, they're going to say, that's my blue mountain. Now, those are my Herefords, or those are my Angus, or those are, and they'll, they'll get a sense. People don't always have to understand art, but art can touch people beyond their understanding. To me, that's basically what my job is, is I project an image. I'm not trying to say I'm trying to convert anybody to anything. I'm just saying, this is the way I respond to an aesthetic way to my environment. And hopefully I can touch other people in the same way. You don't have to know anything about art. You just have to feel it. That's why people buy original art, and that's why they will always buy original art, because the artist actually creates a living thing that has a spirit. The first inspiration I had for those paintings was looking back at photographs from about 1920 to about 1960 of people working in the fields because, you know, people working in the fields in those days worked in the fields. I mean, they didn't drive a tractor and just, you know, put hay on a wagon. That was universal, actually. And even though the sor my sources were Eastern Oregon, those people were still universal, and they were still doing it across the country in the same way. So that's what hit the chord, I think. And I was able just to continue that, because even though they were Eastern Oregon inspired, they had a universal quality to them that took them beyond just here.